stand in the front. Mm -hmm. um, your energy is just like Dee Dee's in charge. Yep. And then you can, d hey, none of that. Yeah. And then you might see that I might do it, but it just depends on what I'm going through with the dog. Okay. We're going to bring the pet up here. Sometimes the pet parent, to put it on backwards, but the, sometimes the pet parent being involved is not good. So we'll just see how it yeah, goes. Yeah, for sure. Come here. Come on. Here. Close I need to lower this down. Yeah. Okay. We're going to get on the table here. I thought it was a big scary cat. There you go. There we go. I'm going to turn you around. Okay, big, right? Don't stay there a second. Thank you. You don't want to stand up here? Come here. Come stand up. Stand up. Okay, you're standing up. Okay, stand up. Here. We have a lot of work ahead of us, man. This is a lot. <laughs> Alright, so we're just gonna get in there and you'll see right right here why I'm gonna go with the tin. So this is great, right? Mm -hmm. Did you get a before picture? No, I gave your phone to you. This is oh yeah, I already did. Okay. So this is okay, right? <laughs> yeah. This is not gonna happen. Okay. So this is not going to happen here, okay? The brush has to do the work first. Okay. Then, so I can feel this with my fingertips here. Mm -hmm. okay. Stuff that's real tightened up here. And then that's not as bad as like right, here, right in here. This is all matted here. Okay. See this? So when there's mats like that, they'll actually, you can feel it. Just close your eyes and feel it. Oh, yeah. This is at the skin. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So what looks great out here yeah. is not where the what skin is here. Line, Look at this. Sure. So this is all going to, right? Yeah. Um, I'm sorry, but, but it's it pulls at the skin. Yeah, yeah, it actually pulls at the skin. So what I'm, what I'm going to see is that, you know, what really hurts is in the pads and on the, around the toes. That's really okay. tough stuff. So that's why I'm going to recommend we shave them down this time yeah. and start over. So you sure. want to be able to. Do they ever nip at their paws if they're feeling it there? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Because he nips at his paws sometimes. Or he so. chews. Or it could be just, you know, when he's capturing outside and he's, he can feel it. You can get in there. It's fine. You can hold on and stuff. You guys had no idea, right? No idea. No. So, did you get him from a breeder or a shelter or a breeder? So, why is it the breeders are not telling you the upkeep? Never. Yeah, we didn't. <laughs> this is more than. I, this is the first time I'm going to say, hey, you breeders out there, for the oodles, you have to train your clients in some way. Even if you, if I was breeding the dog, mm -hmm. I would have sent you home with a brush, a comb, the detangler, or deep, you know, what I, some stuff that I use. Yeah. So, why are you only in the business for giving you a dog and not telling you what to do with it? Right. Yeah. It's a lot, isn't it? It's how much? Give me an average. You don't have to tell the camera how much, but you could say it was over two thousand, or if it was over. It was yeah. It ranges between fifteen to twenty-five. Right. Yeah. So if you're gonna have that big of a sale, yeah, that's a that's a used car. So that's a two-door like used car. Yeah. And at least you have the option right there to buy warranty. So right there, you should also have the option of do I what tools are am I gonna need? Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. Yeah, because we got our husky first, and his upkeep is just way different than. Oh, absolutely. So it's, yeah. Are you going to start over? We're going to start over, and I think you'll be in a whole other place uh, once we get starting over. And you're really lucky that you don't, we haven't gotten there yet, but I'm not feeling like there's an aggression. Because if you have this kind of haircutting needed, like on a regular basis, mm -hmm. aggressive dogs just makes it so much harder. Yeah. You know, it's like, oh, come on, you can't even put a brush to them. That kind of thing it's really hard on you guys and it's hard to find a groomer willing to do that yeah, yeah. without injury you know mm -hmm. yeah we've, with the grooming so this that. you're doing the body here well body's looking good here yeah. it's the tough spots okay um that are really bad we'll, we'll get in here and see it on the arm here you don't want to eat shaggy boots <laughs> And you guys really will. You're going to have to go, well, who wants to do it tonight? You know, yeah. you have to. Like him. Do you want to do laundry tonight? No. There's no <laughs> choice. Somebody has to do some kind of brushing. 
See, look at this. This is un under the... Oh my gosh. Right? This is bad, man. And I'm not even in the inside of the arm here. The inside of the arm is real tender. Can't tell, right? Mm -mm. It's hard to tell. It feels fine. On until, the out, on the tip, yeah. right? You so here, it's it all this skin. right here. I know. I yeah. So feel in there now, and now that I've got it off of the skin. Oh wow. Right? It yeah. feels okay, like you're doing this number. I think I did think that it, I was at his skin That's already. That's probably what you thought, yeah. Yeah, but I wasn't. See, so look at all that. That's all underneath. It's Thank really you. hard to tell, and like I, I'm saying all this because it's like educational, you yeah, know. No, for sure. But I'm here to help you fix it. Yeah. And it's not like I'm complaining. I just think that the face value on the camera, it's really hard to kind of determine. Ah, that's not that bad. And sure. like in the lobby, it's kind of like, well, I I've been brushing. Like it's not like yeah. discounting that you haven't. It's just doing it properly, and yeah. you may not have known. Like right now, you're saying. I thought that was the skin, man. Yeah. I was like, thunk, thunk, thunk. It was so thick that yeah. you thought you were at the skin, right? We see the dogs in our neighborhood that are oodles, mm -hmm. doodle, labradoodle, whatever. And we'll be like, oh my gosh, do they not know? And they don't, I can look at a dog and tell you. You can tell a dog that's been brushed, right? Or a dog yeah. that hasn't. Something happens to the hair, it's just softer and glowing more. And are the knots or the mattiness that bad? Is that like a really long buildup over time or that happens pretty instantly when the hair grows back? So as if you had a curly hair dog, mm -hmm. I would say it really surprised me on a Maltese that we recently groomed and I've been grooming her for a minute. Mm -hmm. uh, she came in a month after. She's on monthly appointments now. A little mm -hmm. Maltese. Yeah. And what was it? She came in. I couldn't believe it. Mm -hmm. I was like, how? What is happening here? Like, how do you see it's all matted in here? So how do you, and you can't see it if you got all this yeah. in the way. So if you have a, a dog, it's, it can happen overnight, like with the type of hair or what's yeah. going on. Do you guys go to the lake or I don't know what's going on. And so the last video I did with that Maltese, I said, I don't know if it's because she's got kids and maybe they get in the bed with them and maybe they go in the bath together. Like, I don't know what's yeah. going on, but in 30 days that dog came in completely matted to the gill. And I was like, wow, how, I just saw you 30 days ago and we did a great haircut, comb through, and it wasn't even long, it's probably mm -hmm. this long. Okay. And I said, we're always, we're gonna do a seven blade and then uh, a lo little longer seven blade, a little longer every month, every, the, every other month. Because I don't understand why you're always, so we have to stay short, like very short yeah. with that dog. So it's, it potentially could be an overnight thing. <laughs> It just depends your lifestyle, right? Because I'm so, I'm such a busy person that I wouldn't want, I could not get a dog that needed for me. All the time. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> not me. I am, um, got, I'm pulled all different directions and I just don't have time to do the brushing every, every night either. Mm -hmm. It would be something that I really think about. So you got to kind of think about how you guys want to do it and then what works for you. I mean, no one else can tell you what works for you, yeah. right? Like YouTube, you can't tell me what works for them. Like it's not, you don't like it? Oh well, this is their dog, so. Yeah. So See all that you can't tell, that's all. That's a tip right there. <laughs> it's not about that. It's about just not knowing. And then just, uh, the other day a lady came in and she, over the phone, she's like, he's not mad at I get it a lot. I'm like, I just say, okay, yeah. I can't tell you if he is or isn't through the phone. What I can't tell you is it'll, it'll be this much more if it is, or yeah. it could go up from here, da, 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 da. You can't tell someone over the phone all that stuff, you know? Yeah. It's hard to tell. And she's like, oh, I'll send you a picture. I'm like, yeah, a picture doesn't help me. I got to feel the, <laughs> yeah. feel the body and see what happens, you know, yeah. during the groom. He he's taking it really well, too. Yeah. He's doing really good. For uh, being nervous, right? Being, yeah. mm -hmm. He's doing really good. I'm really, really happy for him. And I think that some of it is that it's just us. Yeah. There's not like 20 other dogs up in here. And with your channel, too, I obviously we've learned a lot, but I didn't know um, 
that they use like drying cages where they just put them in a cage and dry them. They make me so sad. Did you go look up, did you go then go look up the cage dryer videos? No, I couldn't. I don't know. You I, have to. I have to. It has to be part of like, it what? Just, it, it hurt my heart so much to think that he's not a huge fan of loud sounds to begin with. And knowing so, that he was in a Well, do you know that, do you, think he, do you think they did that? I now don't, looking back, do you think like, I think that that happens at such and such? Maybe. And I don't, I don't know because he, they always said he did such a, Good job. So if he, I don't know what they did there. I know when we. <laughs> well, been, doesn't that sound sad in itself? Yes. Yeah. I have no yeah. idea what happened. Yeah. yeah. So that happens a lot, and it's not good or bad. That I'm trying to talk about other rumors. It's just how there's a good. Yeah. So I, I tell people, would you no, like it though? Would no, you wear, I mean, we were, I thought that'd be we cool. We were but I can <laughs> step back and look though. Step back and look at this part right here. Just if you could, if I could leave a little. Look at him. He does look like a little lion. Let's, 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 let's play with it, okay? It Let me play with it. Let me see how mad it is in there. Because we can also, because I, now that we're here, I mean, I think he'd be cute if he was just all one beautiful city thing everywhere. His head, because his little toupee up here drives me nuts. Because it just... Look at him. He just looks like Albert Einstein. You're a pup's neutered? No, I don't recommend, I don't say that. I should on those aggressive ones. I'll be like, is it neuter? Right. I should, man. But no, I don't. I don't really care about that. Most of them are though already. Yeah, most of them are already. Mm -hmm. This one is right. Yes. Yeah. This tail gets so crazy. Come back with scissors and that. So much. So better. to you, does he look more doodle or retriever? Retriever. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Retriever for sure. Yeah. I, I don't think we should keep this alive. I think we would you keep it later? It? I, I think it's something we could work up to. I think, I think we should try it first and then if we want to. I agree. I agree. I think it'll look really cool. I think you should just let me play with it, but you have to keep it after I play with it. I, I agree. And then, and then you're not going to see it for very long because you're about to go on your wedding and all this anyway. Also, when she, when she cleans all this up here, it's going to make more sense. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, I'll need to see that. So right now he looks crazy. Well, don't just wait till I get to the top then. I think okay. it's funny because like our husky looks obviously husky looks like wolves. Yep. So a little don't lion. Like a little that. Wolf. <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine him running around in the backyard and his mane is just blowing? Blowing in the wind. Oh no, Chompy, what's happening to you? I did not realize it. Hey, it might get a lot. It might get me some business. I know, but my God, that's a lot. Though. That's so sad. But yeah, I have um, a, not a grinning kit because it's not like this, but I have like the rounded scissors and the straight scissors and everything. So I do try to get his, trim his face. Oh that, yeah, you, yeah, right. Is that right? So you see all this in here? I'll take a look, David. Come over here. So I'm shaving this out. You can't see it, right? Yeah. Then boom, look at all this in there. So these are, uh, well, no, here, I'll let you touch it or you can grab it. So you know what those pop, poppy seeds or whatever they're called? They can actually, well, look at this. You can actually pull it oh, out. Yeah. And you're lucky they're not needles yet. Those needle ones, they're wheelbarrow, whatever they're called. Do you see this? Yeah. You could not see it under there, could you? No. no. Yeah, and then as soon as I opened it, it was like, boom. And there's been a few little ones, but the ones that come out, if you wherever you take them to walk, you gotta check the feet when you get home. Because there was one dog, they live on a farm, and I had to literally pull, and there were the needle ones. There's a, what are they, wheelbarrow or pinwheel or something like that, some kind of weed. And it was so sad. That is sad. I'm already sad. It was really so sad. Bad. So, it's like, I already showed that. Okay, now we'll get to, let's do this. Let's do the top a little bit. I'm coming out of that a little bit. She had one of the things I'm going to do. It can go down, but not this time. I can take that part out. You're like half your puppy size, dude. I know. You look, you look so scrawny now.
feel so uninterested right now. <laughs> oh, I have an idea here. I'm gonna let you brush the mane. Okay. Start here. Uh, this is just for me to watch you. And yeah. so, okay. Uh, start low and, and make yourself and high. Okay. And then you're gonna brush and then check with the comb. Brush and check with the comb. And let me see if you kind of understand what I'm trying to do. Yeah, from the one of the videos I watched yesterday, I think it was a doodle that you were doing. You said to go backwards from the back to the front. And I was like, oh, I am not doing that. <laughs> so. And go vigorously, like just get in there. Just try to do a focus on the hair, not the skin. So you will be in and out in that front main area in about six minutes. So you say you're going to do like a run? Yeah. Like build like grass and then put a run around it? Well, so, or Because turf is so expensive, we were going to do... Build fake the, grass? Mm -hmm. Yeah. We were going to build great. the dog run, like build a fenced area within our yard and put the fake stuff in okay. there okay um and obviously with drains and everything so yeah and it'll be easy to pick up the poop and he will just go into the ground mm -hmm. and he can mm -hmm. take a hose and spray it down and that way when it okay rains, so don't do that don't use do the comb use the comb the bris bristles are very strong and i always like nick myself so you well, and, we, it, and it does make you go can i do this <laughs> yeah because i look at it like there's got to be drainage and there is yeah. the whole thing um we, and because they kind of, they've ruined our yard just with their running back and forth. So our plan was to obviously put the fake grass in like a big L so they have a wide space to play and a long space to run. Uh -huh. And then once that's done, we'll put it, we'll bring in like a, a lawn service to grow our grass back. So we'll have a good the yard. The real stuff where though? Um, the real stuff will be everywhere that isn't fenced in for them. So our, our yard is like a big rectangle, so it'd be like a okay. wide spot and a long spot towards the back that they'd be playing. How's this looking? Alright, so here we go. We will go up. Did I miss something? So if, right, so you would not keep going until this you check this and it's okay. good, right? So that's not good. Okay. I'm gonna share. Go ahead. One of those. He's like, I know like you're cool and everything, but if you could just stay where you are, I would really like that. So the 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 leash collar training mm -hmm. thing will help with that. Get him off that harness. Okay. In my opinion. I well, mean we haven't walked in our neighborhood for a minute because we uh, with my other dog I was walking him and a pit bull came running out of nowhere and like charged us both and so Christopher doesn't really want me walking right now. I agree. So and but you could do the dog, you could do the yard walk. Ah, yes, you definitely could do that. But I'm just happy Chompy was not the dog I was with. Because Ziggs had his ears up, he was ready to go. He was ready really? to like defend me and it was great. But Chompy would, he would mm -hmm. be petrified. He'd probably never leave the house again. <laughs> Isn't that right, Chompy? He'd, let's go outside, he'd be shivering. It's, yep, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> it took us. Oh, there, it's wild. He's almost, too wild. he's almost two and it took us like a year he's and a half. He's such a good dog, man. I'm so proud that you guys got such a good dog. He's so sweet. You are, aren't you, buddy? But he was scared of the car until like six months ago. <laughs> he still doesn't like it, but and you have to like talk real sweet for him to get in. But he will get in now. We used to have to carry him in. Okay, you can stop, Mom. You can just watch him. Yeah, for sure there are two real big knots under his ears, but I, they're, they're like penny size. There was no way I was going to try to get that out, so. So eventually we'll try to bring this back out. Okay. Not all of it here. Yeah. Um, that's mainly but this all will start you're gonna take it's gonna take a minute but bringing That's this okay. back down if I shave this we'll be at where another dog where it took a it took us uh how long she it came in with it year. shaved I think mm -hmm. and then it took us like over a year to grow it back out but okay. and she was a, a couple times she came in and it was on video she was like just take it off Dee Dee I can't take it no more and I talked her into it and then finally when the day was like it's laying down and yeah. she's like I'm so glad you didn't let me yeah you know give up because it was a, it, it looks great now. It's all laying down. Okay. All right, we'll come back. We're gonna do some weaving.
carbon conditioner spray. I love this stuff. It kind of goes hand in hand with brushing. Okay, you don't need a lot. Once the hair is wet, it's hard to brush too, so you gotta be right in between. Okay. You can hear it. Yeah. You can hear when the brush is not going through. You don't want to hit the skin too yeah. much, it'll just burn it. Yeah, I've definitely like cut myself a couple times have you? with that brush. And, like, the one you have? Yeah, yes. man. But if you don't, I mean, some people have these little pin brushes. It does not, people are like, I don't carry them. I give those away. So I, where was it? Like a, a street thing for the city of Fort Worth or something. They were handing out those brushes. I was like, oh my gosh, man. Of course they're free. Because <laughs> they don't do anything. Oh, that's looking pretty. Let me see. Your dad might have won this time, John. <laughs> well, I think you guys both are getting it. The top's yeah, clean. It's, nice it's starting to look nice. This mane. Oh, my Lord. <laughs> John, you look so wise. That out. <laughs> yeah. It's okay. It's okay. Don't get in there. It's okay. He's no, not hurt. It's, just, it's funny. <laughs> it is funny. It's okay. It's just so, so funny. So this is pretty thick here. And you knew that was there. Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah, that's the one I was like, yeah, not even going to try. <laughs> what are you doing, buddy? Let me put this here and do that. It's stuck. Hmm? It's stuck? No, I got it. Oh. But it wouldn't go down because he was, had too much tension on it. Look this way. Okay, we need to come back over here some more. And we can make this fuller later, okay? What's on the floor? <laughs> <laughs> 
Tommy. <laughs> I like it too. He looks super cute. Yeah. But mom's over here laughing. I don't know what that means exactly. But. Oh, because it's just so, it's so choppy. You have a baby. <laughs> Let me see what happens if you round this out. Chest piece. I'm not sure if we want to do rounded or wild. Like, you know, hold on here. So, yeah, I think when I trimmed them, I just laid them. I think I tried to leave them. But you want like this, or do you want me to jag it up like this? Like this is more um, real wild. Let's do a little. Let's make him wild since he already wild. looks like a lion. Okay. Yeah. So what I'm gonna do is take this up here first. Get our length the same here. I put a freaking Christmas chocolate out there and my dad was like, I was like, he didn't take the chocolate, it freaking melted, right? <laughs> He's like, you gotta put a note that says it's for him, Dee. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so I was like, well, son of a gun, man. <laughs> so now I know. Make sure you put a note. Yep, she does. She's like, Merry I didn't put a note. I just put it out there because I assumed he would just take it. No. But now I know. Put a note. <laughs> this is like the last part of old choppy right here. Mm -hmm. That's why it's so easy for these guys to get matted in there too. You wouldn't even know. I'm not sure I did the nails here. We're almost ready for the bath, so. I think I know what it is. It's where they've been doing it and what's been going on. Your brother might be able to attest for that. You know, if you if I hit the vein on all these nails and we do that every time, yeah, he's not going to be happy. Probably he's the scared. fifth or sixth groom, he will yeah. be. Um, and maybe he wouldn't feel it now, but eventually, because you know he doesn't really cause pain, right? Show you pain, right? Yeah. So imagine after it's been done so long that that dog does end up showing like, get away from my nails. Because all dogs aren't born that way. You can touch their paws and all that. They're not born that way. Something yeah. ends up. Mm. What do you guys think? I like it. <laughs> I like it too. What do you think? He looks good. <laughs> He's like, no, it's so cute. Well, this is the time to take a picture in case we don't get the full blow dry done. He might not love it. It won't be dry. You'll have to take it later. So this is you want to get pretty pic cool. a, a face picture. This would be a good time to do it. <laughs> what is up with you, dude? Tell me. Hey. Okay, but I don't want to try to walk up. Hey, buddy. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, you look so good. You're such a good boy. You did so good, man. Okay, stay there, David. Oh, you have my phone? Oh, here it is. I'm going to oh, give a quick one to myself. You're such a rock star. There's a little rock star. Hey. Small rock star. Small for the camera. Oh yeah. <laughs> okay, let's go to the bath. You ready? Bath time. Ready to go bath? a couple things here.
Do you have any other points? No, I just came to see you guys. Oh, you guys paid for it. So, thank you. <laughs> it's a really long week. I had a lot of uh, mean dogs and I was exhausted. Mm -hmm. I really didn't want to come in. <laughs> no, I in there. But the wedding and everything, I just felt... Yeah, I really, really appreciate it as well. Thank you, Arlene. You are so sweet. Yeah, we're going to have to how many dogs do you generally do in a day? Well, I try to do... I like to do three now, but it seems like it's like six still, six to seven. And then when I do with aggressive, they're really tolling. It may not seem like it, but it's really tolling on me. It's like doing three dogs at once is what it feels like. Because you have to be in tune with him, you know, the owner, the dog, and try and prevent being bit. Even though some people are like, well, you, this is what you do for a living. It doesn't mean you want to get bit. You're like, you don't want to get bit because you get bit. Guess what happens? The city gets involved. Yeah. They do a report on the dog. The dog's not even vaccinated. Let's just say they lied, which is not really the case here because I mean, I verify everything. But if they didn't have all the vaccinations, then they could be quarantined. They could die in quarantine. If I got bit, I could get an infection. I could go be in the emergency room, which, you know, you don't have health care. Right. So it's like, well, what do you do, you know? But it is a choice that I do. I make a choice to be a part of this. This is what I do. But some groomers like, well, you are already volunteering. Yes, I am. But it doesn't mean that you want to go in there going, okay, I might get bit today. Great. You know, that's not, right. you want to prevent it. Yeah. So it's just totally, it's a lot of work. Well, and you have to be on your toes the entire time. Right. I'm sure is mentally tough. That's mental. That's the mental part. I don't think people understand that. And then they'll be like, Gosh, you make it look so easy. Let's go. I'm gonna do my own dog. <laughs> you know, and then they do, and they realize, wow, I got bit. Yeah. I got bit a few times. I get groomers that send me their pictures on they're being bit. And I'm like, just because you see someone doing it and it looks easy, it doesn't mean it's easy. You need yeah. to be careful. All right. And then you get bit, but you also injure the dog, you're in a whole nother ballpark. Like you need to really make sure. You're a business, you're not just a home person doing your exploration. Yeah, it's really tolling, it's really physically exhausting. Well, and I've been in until obviously I've been spending the YouTube so with yeah. cats. Like, I didn't even realize how A, did you see any of those? How crazy some of the cats are, and B, how difficult it is to do. Because you said their skin is like saran wrap. Yeah, and that one cut is wrap. like it is. It and you do a little up. nick. Has your brother told you this? Mm -hmm. They'll be at the vet doing a surgery, and if they nick the skin, it just goes, it just opens up like saran wrap. That's the yeah. best way I could put it. So if you don't know, and I learned from a lady, so some people learn from themselves, right? Mm -hmm. They're like, yeah, I'll try to do a cat. It's the worst kind of way to do it. And at PetSmart, this lady was like, I'll teach you how to do a cat, because no one else wanted to do them. And I was like, I love the challenge, let's go. So she taught me how to do cats. And I just took it to a whole nother level, working at a veterinary and dealing with aggressive dogs. Mm -hmm. Then I was like, okay, I'll take all the aggressives. I don't mind. Because I'll try to work with it first and see if I can read what the, the dog or cat needs me yeah. to do. You know what I mean? Versus just, at PetSmart, it's a bad place to kind of do, which is where I learned how to groom. It's kind of a bad place to deal with an aggressive. It's too much going on. Right. Yeah. And I didn't learn that until I worked for a veterinarian, right? Where that one-on-one -on -one really makes a difference sometimes. Yeah. No other dogs, the sound, the smells. You know, a ch a, an aggressive Yorkie sitting next to a German Shepherd that's high strung barking the whole time. Yeah. All of a sudden, that Yorkie is now, I mean, panicking the whole time. Yeah. So. And that's his problem right now. So he just he gets a little bit too scared around other dogs, even though he's a big. Right, dog. right, right. But those cats, girl, all people were like, "Groom my cat." I'm like, "No, have you ever? Have yeah. you ever?" And then I tell him, "Go in the bathroom with your cat. Shut the door. Turn the water on, and let let me you see what your cat does." Yeah. I had a cat lady call today and she was like, that's expensive. I was like, it's dangerous. She goes, is it? I'm done. Is it? I'm like, oh my gosh. We're, I can't talk to you, man. We're not even, go Google it. I was like, go Google it. Now. Yeah, because I even watched um, one of them where the cat was rather docile, but still, it still doesn't like it. No. So I can't imagine it, A, you could do severe damage to them unintentionally, but and they could do severe difficult. damage to us, girl. I had this one, once 
this a uh, couple times, but at the veterinarian, right, mm -hmm. there's a thing that says bathe the cat. I'm like, okay, today has got a bath cat. Okay, go check the cat kennels and this and that. And go get the cat out of the, because it's being pet set there, mm -hmm. right? So go get the cat. So I go get the cat, bring her to the tub. And at the time, the tub is here and the cat's here, you know. That cat flew up and freaking wrapped itself around like all around the hose. And my face was, it was literally like, Oh all no. the claws it was like and i was like whoa and it just it would miss my whole face whoa. and we're talking serious i will say it'll miss my jugular and that, that's because of that and later on the lady says oh that was the wrong cat Oh my God. Totally wasn't the right client to freaking. Oh, I was my so gosh. pissed. I was like, that makes a lot of sense. I said, because that cat almost killed me. <laughs> it's not funny. I had it to cut. Funny. I had to no. use scissors. Like, I had the scissors, like, over here, and I literally had to cut, like, the groom loop off of her. And then I let that cat run, and then I let her kind of feed her, get into a feeding kennel and shut her in there. I couldn't handle her, like, touch her. Dang. I, it, after the trying to just get that water. <laughs> yeah. So when people are like, will you bathe my cat? I'll be like, how often are you doing it now? And it, does your cat do that? Do, does your cat allow baths? Because it's not like, right. will I do it? It's, will she let me do it? Yeah. You know, is your cat tolerable against water? Well, that's the whole thing about you know having a pet it's like we could have another doodle and he not be at all like this oh one. yeah absolutely so that's the thing it's mm -hmm. like he's so relaxed and everything's fine but you said like obviously he has a little more of the retriever oh, in him than sure. poodle because i can imagine the poodle would be a little maybe a little more difficult well the goldens that i grew go look up my favorite groomer golden mm -hmm. and you'll see like wow there's this one it's really old it looks like i am in a warehouse her name's annie she passed away from bone cancer that I've caught in her jaw. Oh. And I gave them, basically by catching it, I said, hey, I'm re really concerned about this. I'm not gonna tell you that I think it's what it is, but I really want you to go get it checked out. And these are, this guy, he would never do anything. Ear infection, don't do it. Did it, it, don't do it. And that time he took my advice and he went in. They tested it and it was just this huge mass coming in and you wouldn't have seen it unless you were like really paying attention. Like mm -hmm. someone like me, like I'm seeing her every three months and I'm yeah. like, something's happening here felt in there you could see it when she was like panting and it was bone cancer and she has six months and if I didn't tell them it would have been just overnight finally when right. it caught up oh and so they actually brought a schnauzer back and wanted a seriously nasty matted gross dirty schnauzer and I haven't seen them since but I don't know what happened they rescued that cat and or that schnauzer and they drove like four hours to pick it up four I hours saw back that video yeah i waited for them at 8 p.m at 7 or 8 p.m at night me and him came out and they haven't come back i don't know why but they are teachers i gave them a hell of a discount for teachers and that was the, the, that was the owner and annie was a golden retriever she was so i just oh my God, i just loved her so much but because of her i also haven't gotten a golden because oh, she only yeah. lived it was nine years and my dogs right now are nine and if i had to say goodbye that soon i would be so I know. Every nine years? No, I have to go like every 12, 15, you know what yeah. I mean? <laughs> no, we already, we talked last so. night that he has to live forever. <laughs> but we're going to find a way to make it happen and he is going to live forever. This one? Yeah. So my uh, intent, my, me telling to. you, the secret is really high quality dog food. Even if you have to pay we, for it we now. Pay really yeah. Okay. For so it. that's something I really I've got learned. us on that, so. Okay. High quality dog food. And I almost am my next set of pets once these pass I'm doing my own self studies right mm -hmm. the next set of pets I'm gonna do only distilled water and I'm gonna see if that affects mm -hmm. their teeth oh, okay because um, they all have bad teeth problems and I'm wondering and so I'll do that myself this round has been uh, tap water for these dogs and then my other dogs were also tap water but they had heart disease which really was just a bad situation for them that was yeah. part of genetics and too many surgeries on mm -hmm. Duke uh, for dentals because just because you have a veterinarian hookup doesn't mean you should get a dental every year. Um, so if you want, and then believe it or not, I think some spinach really helps. Spinach and kale. I actually like spinach. Really? Yeah. Well, um, so I would trick them or put some of the spinach in their food. I think that that would help. And this is all Dee Dee's opinion. Okay. okay. They eat it straight. We'll hand it to them and they'll eat it. Yeah, they really do. Our girls don't, man. They go. No, they spit it out. I see it later on the floor. But if I chop it up real fine, mm -hmm. they'll they'll mix it up with their food and they won't really get it. But our dog food that we carry has kale in it. It has blueberries, kale, papaya, mango. I like it blueberries. They're really good. They're 
can't see stuff. Doing something. Why are we turning our dogs into these super? <laughs> I know. We want him to live as long as we can. I know don't we? that he has to. He doesn't get because um, Ziggs was his find, and then Chompy was my find. Aww. So, yeah. Well, Chompy's they both need to live as long as possible, right? Oh, for sure. So, do you not watch uh, Gohan? I do. Yeah, yeah. We, we've seen. I it. love Gohan. Man. So, is, <laughs> so doesn't that make you feel like doing that type of diet for your husky? Uh, it's kind of similar to, I, I used to uh, babysit at my church, a uh, oh guy, my, he had the, almost the exact same diet, and okay. it's, just, it's just a lot, it's, it's just a whole Well, I think with Gohan, I think he's on it, probably sponsored, but I'm not sure, I don't know. Yeah, well, if we were sponsored, we definitely Yeah, it'd be a little bit of a different story. Then, but. Right, right, absolutely. But maybe that's why, I don't know, mm -hmm. you know, and I think, well, my whole point is, I think he orders his in. It's delivered to the door. Mm -hmm. So they don't, I don't think he goes to the store. He might, I'm sure he does every now and then, but I don't think he goes to the store does it. He eats a prep thing Dang. that's already like done. Like a meal delivery service for your pup. I, I think it would be really efficient if we lived in a, not that we don't have a growing city, but like LA, I think mm -hmm. that's just right down the road and they right. can yeah, just service a 10 mile radius yeah. because they're just so busy. Okay, stay there. You guys are there. I'm gonna just get my phone and take a picture. Chompy, good job. You good, buddy. Hey, hey. Are you happy? Your tail. He's like, I'm done. Hey, are you? Hey. Are you happy? Yeah. Hey. <laughs> what are you looking up for? You're looking up. What's up there? Hmm. What's this? Can I smell? Let me see. See, I use those kind of scissors all the time. Do you? Yep. He's, he lets me do it. Except for I have to lay down with him because he doesn't... His pads and his feet are so slick that he can't... He'll just slide if he tries to sit on hardwood, usually. So. Beautiful animal around, really sweet. All right, guys, we should wrap up here. This one's dying over here, too. <gasps> are you ready to go? Hey, are you ready to go? Okay. Good boy, Chubby. You have your leash and everything? I'm yeah. actually gonna use the leash portion here. So I don't think we brought our collars with it. Yeah, it's yeah. more for a handle. Yeah, that's a handle. This is a handle? Yeah. yeah. This is what we're gonna do, though. We've actually done that before, so. We have actually done that.